Hey Audi, Steam Guy here. Today's Steam Puff is moving fluids. Let's move some air and see what happens. The materials you're going to need are scissors, paper, and some tape. Take the paper and cut it into about a third. Take each end and fold to the center and crease. Now take each flap and fold it back out to the crease and crease it again. Open it up until it looks like a small top hat or perhaps what I prefer to call a bridge. Take the bridge and place it near the edge of a table. Tape or hold down the feet so it remains stationary. Move your head so that it is level with the table and blow in the tunnel gently and steadily and watch what happens. So what's going on here? When no air is moving around the bridge, the push downward is equal to the push upward, so the bridge remains stationary. But when you blow beneath in the tunnel, the fast moving air causes the push upwards to become less, and the downward push is greater, causing the top to bow downward. Let's see how this moving air can move some other things. For this, you're going to need two empty soda cans, Four straws or pencils or shish kebab skewers, something round. These are going to act like rollers. First, we're going to place the can on top of two of the rollers. We'll place the other can on top of the other two rollers and leave a space in between. Now, I'm using a straw, but you don't have to. It helps me to direct the air. You're going to quickly blow a puff of air in between the two cans and notice that they come together. So what's going on here? Well, when there's no moving air at all around the cans, the outward and the inward pushes are equal. But when you blow in between the cans, the fast moving air causes the forces outward to be smaller. So the air that's pushing the cans together is larger and you see the cans come together. So slow moving air gives a big push and fast moving air gives a small push. Thanks for watching Steam Puffs. We hope you'll join us next time when we look at some exciting new applications of moving fluids.